and welcome back guys I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the horse farm base today and then I'm probably gonna take a long break from rust unless the team comes back along but yeah yeah that's pretty much what's been going on lately is uh, my teammates just gotten off for a couple weeks it's getting nice outside it's becoming summer and they're getting nice and busy it's like oh well <laughs> I guess I'll go do something else so, I figure I'll go ahead and show how I make my horse farm base over here on this build server. This way, when I decide to come back to playing Rust, I remember how to make it myself, because even I'm starting to forget how to make it. Anyways, so you're going to need a nice piece of flat land. You can make, like, rocky terrain like this work. It's not ideal to next, build next to a road, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to build out here in the water for sake purposes, so that it's just... You know what, I'm going to build over here. I can make this work. But yeah, this horse farm you can make into an household base where it connects to multiple structures. So I'm going to do it right here. This is a, not exactly flat, but it will work for our purposes. Alright, so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need six triangles. Alrighty. So, then you're going to go out one square on each side. Alright, now this is where things get kind of funky. You square on the triangle. point it looks like this. But because we're building on an uneven platform, we'll just have to do that. Alright. That's not what I want. Really? Alright. So let's go place our tool cannon so we can ask to delete that one little triangle there. So, your door is going to want to be facing ranch. And what I like to do is I like to put the tool cabinet right over here. Whee! Hey, I'll have to get my rough server back up and running. I've forgotten how much fun it is to be an admin sometimes. Although I stopped with my rough server, okay? I got tired of all the kind of bullshit that comes with running a Rust server. Uh, what bullshit do I speak of? Uh, just people being jerks and people being assholes. Got tired of that shit. Maybe we'll bring it back. Alright, should look something like that. So now... Do ramps in the middle, and now uh, you need to figure out where your elevator is going to be. So, because we're off the ground by a little bit, we need to actually build an extra structure to get the horses up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like this, and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do ramps, and this will help the horsies get into the, uh, base. So this is where my elevator is going to be. We actually need to go out by one more block. So, why do I say that? Well, if you look here, this is the passageway around the base. So, kind of common sense to go out by one more. So, let's go out by one more. Splinch, splinch, remove. Uh. Oh. I really don't like that they don't have just straight up slash removes. It'd be so much easier. Ah, build and stability. Clear on terrain, clear en well, entities. Let's see here. 
first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of fly mode because it's fucking me up. To be honest. Can I break this now? No. You can sprint plus reload to remove entities. Splints reload. Oh, okay. So I press shift and R to remove stuff. Okay, that's kind of weird. I'll make work. Like I said, I, I like servers where you can use slash remove. It makes life so much easier. Back on track now. It's a slight delay. Oh. Did not see that shit coming. Like I said, if you get flatland, just do it normal foundation there. So why are we building these side pieces? Well, if you intend to use the horse farm base as an asshole base, you're going to need storage. And what comes with storage? Yeah, need spots to put the storage, right? But if you're just doing the horse farm base, and you're just going to do walls around it, you're just going to use it for just horse farm, where you're not going to use it for an asshole base, then just completely ignore putting this part in and just do a normal wall here. But for purposes of people actually living in the horse farm base, we're going to actually build it out the way I usually do. Like I said, it's best to build this on a flat spot. Just improvise if you get on a spot that is not flat like I'm doing here. Will I get harassed by an admin today? You know, I got one of those feelings I am going to. I'm like, hey, what you build it? It's, it's, uh, it happens once in a while on the build server. Oh, I remember I was part of a clan, right? And the teammate decided to build like a zerg base where he's learning how to make the base on a creative build server and they're like it's too laggy be gone it's like yikes oh boy i get to learn how to remove this again yeah it's like be fantasy it's like and he just looks over and half the base has been deleted by an admin it's like so bad. So what I like to do is I like to do double walls here, like um, the wall frame here. Here, and I like to do the double doorway, and I like to go up four. Now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finagling because I usually use test chains for this build. But clearly we can't use that on vanilla, so we're going to have to probably do a wind turbine, most likely. So, now we'll come in, we'll put our walls in. Uh, on the second level, it's completely optional. You can do double door frames, or you can just do walls. If you're going to be on a normal rest server with PvP, I would recommend just doing walls. This way people can't shoot the horses. That's also something that happened on the Alliance game server. One wipe, I had my horse farm, and I had the double door frames with the fences. And apparently you can shoot through fences, and uh, someone from that one group, we are not named because, you know, it's just not worth mentioning, decided to shoot all the horses. Yeah, that guy was an asshole. He thought it was funny. No, that's a real asshole thing to do. Uh, don't delete that. I need that. Eh, yeah, figures admins did nothing about it. Alrighty. So 
So what I've been doing now is I've been leaving this one spot open. You can fully enclose it if you want to. But I just leave it open, this way when the shit hits the fl floor here, literally, you can just walk in instead of going up the elevator. But you are going to need an elevator to use this horse farm, because the horses are still not quite fixed going up ramps. So when I say ramps, like roof ties like this, they used to be able to go up this without no problem. They still have a slight problem of going up these. So, the next thing you're going to need is this. And you're going to need four of them. Time to turn my note clip back on. And you are going to need four of them. Alrighty, so this is what it should look like from above. Oh boy, it reminds me of my old Zerg base. Go ahead and completely just put these door frames around all of this. This is going to help the structure support. If you do intend to use this as an actual base, I would not recommend putting industrial piping in until you get all the door frames in. I found out the hard way. I got it all set up, I didn't put my door frames in, I put the industrial piping in, and I realized I needed more stability when I started building this. And I was like, shit, because I gotta remove, remove all of it. I had to move my auto sorters and everything. It was like, crap. So now let's just go ahead and put the floor up here. So we're going to be building this horse farm a little different from the way I usually build mine. Uh, the one I can build, you can put multiple levels on, but because Rust has decided to break horses, and they don't like going through door frames as far as I still know of, where they still don't like going through door frames, we're going to make some slight modifications so this still works. Alrighty. So, I'm going to do walls here. You can do door frames, like double door frames here, if you're on a PvE server. And they have the rule of no kill on sight and no shooting animals. And that's fine, like horses and stuff like that. But, if you are on one of those servers where there are people are allowed to shoot horses, or, or you're on a PvP server, I would recommend putting walls up. So now, what's so important about this being here? Well, this makes it easier for you to take your horse off of the lift and come down here, and then you can just bring him underneath here. So that when there's a horse trough there, it just makes it easier to get the horses in here. Let's say you've got this filled up with horses, and you're trying to get a horse like here, but there's a bunch of horses here. You can just go through the back here and bring him in. Makes life so much easier. Too bad there's no auto-sorting system. Hint, hint, Rust developers. <laughs> you know, so you gotta include a little Minecraft into Rust here, where you put a box down there next to where the horse is crapped down to, where it just automatically just sucks that shit up into a box. That'd be great. <laughs> Looks at me. Yeah, that would be nice, huh? a hint. Something to add to your game. <laughs> Put a nice composter right there in the middle, so all the shit slides towards it. Oh yeah, I'm trying to be funny. It's not uh, quite working out. Uh, 
please note, living in a horse farm is kind of annoying. Because you're going to hear the clip clapping of the hooves of the horses. You also hear the poop noises of it smacking down on the floor and rolling down the ramp. So, it was an interesting experience living in a horse farm. Uh, yeah. I, I'm like, what the hell is that slashing noise? Okay, it's just a horse for rolling down the ramp. <laughs> I had to turn off in-game noises, it was getting kind of annoying. But it made it very convenient just to come over and pick up the horse crap, put it in the composer. Yeah, uh, yeah it was kind of upsetting when I had with the other server. And I called someone out for breaking a server rule, and instead of them banning the person found breaking a server rule, they decided to ban the victim. Nice people, not at all. We're gonna need two garage doors. Stick a garage door there. If you decide to live out of this as a base, you can also add like Esther foundations out here. And I'll just kind of demonstrate for you. And then what you can do is you can put a single door frame here, here, and here. Once you add up the foundations here, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm hinting there. That's how you can do that. Alright, we're going to do fence walls here, and here, and here. So, if you decide to link it up like how I've done it in the past where you've got a farm next to it, you can link the, uh, what do you want to call it, the hopper system where it automatically fills up your food boxes, but yeah, I'm not on one of those servers where I can just do that for you, or show how that's done. It's just, a, this is just a quick, hey, this is how you make a horse farm. <laughs> Alrighty. Throw that shit down there. Alright. Go up to floor number three, technically speaking, because the ground floor counts as one, the second floor counts as two. So we're technically on number three here. Build up the next walls, like so. Alrighty, and we have some more of these. No clipping's messing with my ability to put these where they need to go. So now, the slight modification we have made is usually you would put door frames here and here, and usually you would have a hopper where the poop goes down towards the middle, but we're not doing that because there's a problem with horses being able to go through the doorways. So the best way to do this horse farm now is to load the horses onto the elevator and elevate they turn them up to the next floor. So next thing I need to do is put in troughs. So trough. We'll do ten of them. And we're gonna do a trough here. We are gonna do one here. And this these ones will need some finagling to get the bums of the horses to be off the edge here. You may have to put floor pieces here just to get their asses to hang off the side here. I know, that sounds weird. Makes perfect sense when you start building this up. Sometimes the poop will get stuck on one ledges here and you kind of have to back the horse's ass towards the ramp here, so 
It only seems to happen on the square spots, though, if you put the uh, trough too far back. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, once you've built this and you fill it with horses, yeah, you're gold. I'm, not, I'm willing to, you basically copy what's being done down here to the second level. All right, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there, you're gonna have 24 horses down here. So then if we pull our lovely calculator, we do 24 plus 24, that is gonna be 48 horses. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> Looks at me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of poop. That explains why I broke the economy on that one server. <laughs> That's a lot of poop. But then you have to wait five or ten minutes for it to compost, and then you've got to go feed it to a shop. Here, have some uh, manure or fertilizer. <laughs> yep, That's great. <laughs> so now, the next best thing for me, I get to figure out how I'm going to put a wind turbine on this. Because usually I use test jennies for this, so now you kind of see where it's time to fuck around and find out. Can I put a wind turbine in there? I mean, I guess I could power the elevator with solar panels, maybe. Let's find out. First, we'll test to see if we can put a wind turbine on this. I don't think so. The ability is kind of like at 16% here. I don't think it's going to happen, but yeah, we'll, we'll try. I feel like someone's watching me. I feel like someone's watching me right now in bed, man. I don't know, I just got one of those feelings, it's like, I feel like someone's watching me. <laughs> Probably sitting there going, what the hell are you making? Probably. And you will need a garage door here to keep people out that like to sit there on your roof. But yeah, that's how you get roof access. Or you want to put another floor on, you could do that too. So, now we need to figure out where can we put a wind turbine. We could probably put it here. This is 53%, so we could do it right here. One, two, three... Six and there. So one, two, three, four, five. You need to go up five of these. This way you get a hundred power, and this way you can split that power off into other stuff that you would like to use. And now we're gonna go look to see what how much an elevator consumes of power. Oh, it's only five, so you could definitely do this with solar panels, or you can do it with a wood turbine, but I'm just kind of showing for example that you can do it with a wood turbine. So you can do it with a wood turbine and you can store your power here if you want to, or you can go ahead and you're only going to need one large battery for this, but for you know, just showing for purposes of how to hook up the electrical for this. Uh, I am going to need three buttons. Technically, four buttons, but... Yeah. I'm going to need... I'm going to get two of those. And one of those. So 
So, let's go put some berries down. So, I'm going to want to put the berries in a place where I have no plans of actually coming back over to. So, I'm going to put it here. Then we're going to put our lovely uh, electrical branches there. Then we're going to come up here. And you can make it nice if you want to. I'm just going to kind of show how it's done. Just link it on down here. So now we're getting 88 power, which in order to get 100 power, you would have to go up one more uh, double frame. So we'll just drag it over here. And we only need 5 power. But I'm demonstrating by branching this over here that you can get more power out of this without just having this lead into one and just using one. You're sitting there like, oh, so that's how I can use multiple power? Yeah. So now we'll try to hide this in the woodwork here. So yeah, I'm still trying to find a server that's like Alliance Games. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to really stretch that out, okay. Uh, you're sitting there, what's wrong? Oh yeah, uh, apparently it's not reaching, so just give me a hot second, we can make this work. Like I said, I usually use test Jenny, so I don't usually wire this this way. I'm improvising, literally. You can move the berries to wherever you want. Uh, for building purposes, I'm not going to make this look super nice. I'm just showing you how to build it. Alrighty, it's going to be like that. Okay. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'm putting this closer than I want to. <laughs> it's being super annoying today. Alright, that works. Alright, so now, go ahead and take a lovely wire that's right here, and then we're going to drag it all the way over here. And we're just going to follow the beams all the way up. We're going to open our lovely garage door. And we're going to try to snake the wire up there. So, and there's the power right there. So we can try to hide it, and there we go. So now, we need our buttons. Yeah, like, how the hell do I put buttons on an elevator? Oh, well, let's put those right there. And right there. So, how to wire an elevator? See this? Let me get on no clip. So, you see that little light here? Just come on, bring that on down here. Right over here, and plug it! Now press the button! Hey look, here comes the elevator! Oh my god, it's magic! Just do that for each floor. Right on downtown. You can make it super fancy with the wiring. I'm just showing how it's made. Just for fuck's sakes, let's go ahead and show how to wire this with the lovely solar panels. So you get 20 power for one, but I like making two of them anyways, just for why not. I don't think it really matters too much of which way they're placed. Now that we've combined both of this, we should be getting 40 power. 
then you just plug that into the input slot of the battery downstairs, wherever you put the lovely battery here. So it's going to be in that one, wherever you place that downstairs. But yeah, that's how that's built. Oh, not my ceiling. So how much would this cost to maintain, you ask? Well, let me go throw that note clip back on. Alright, so now I, let me just find that little panel that will show what is needed for this base. It's going to take you 69,000 wood, 183, and it requires high call because of the damn elevator. So, let's see what happens if I was to upgrade this to stone. Upgrade. It will cost you... Eighty-two thousand stone to have this upgraded to uh, eighty-two thousand eight hundred stone to have this fully upgraded. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what happens if we upgrade this to metal. Oh boy. It's gonna cost you holy shit. Wow, is that see a little? Uh, no, no, it's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> It's going to cost you 51,200 metal frags for upkeep, and that's for a day. That's not for like two or three days, that's for a day. Alright, uh, for fuck's sakes, let's just upgrade it to armor. How much high quality is going to make you spend? Uh, it's not bad, it's 6,622. You know, if you're on a 2x server, that's pretty easy. So. That's how you make the lovely horse farm that I usually make. I'm gonna downgrade it back down to wood here. I said wood. I didn't say metal. There we go. That's how much it takes to maintain that base and the different tiers. Make sure to the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully it was helpful regarding a horse farm. Uh, please remember that in order to get the horses to the second layer here, you have to use a elevator. As far as I know of, they have not fixed the horses to go up the roof tiles. You could probably do ramps, but it costs more resources. Uh, and remember that horses have a lovely time, having a hard time going through do double doorways. We had a horse trap trough halfway in it, so I'd recommend putting this in last. And just fill up the horses, just start here, fill it up, and then just round and round they go, never know, and then deposit the horse. And then eventually place the horse trough back. That's what I would do. That's what I was doing before when they caused this hiccup of a mess regarding them breaking horses. <laughs> Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hope this video helped you regarding a horse farm, one that works efficiently. This horse farm works very well on servers that don't have a horse limit. So if you're on a server and you're only allowed to have three tr a horse troughs, it's probably not worth making this horse farm. Yeah. So anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.